Welcome to the Virtual Clinical Trial Day Celebration 2020. This program was organized by the research team of Apollo Research and Innovation Ahmedabad. We will see a short film named The Scurvy Experiment of James Lind. Due to the lockdown situation, this short film was shot by 14 staffs at different places with 45 video clips and edited at one place. So we value your comments. So please like, share and comment. So let us see the film. Hello, I'm greetings to everyone. I'm a big working as an ethics committee coordinator in Apollo Hospital International Limited, Gandhinagar. We welcome you to celebrate International Clinical Trial Day. Clinical trial plays an important role in discovering of new treatments and make sure that the previous treatments are used in the best possible ways. Research can find answers to the things that are yet unknown, filling the gaps in the knowledge and change the way the healthcare profession works. The purpose of clinical research is to find more effectively prevent, treat or diagnose diseases. Every drug that is used in day-to-day -day activity was once a part of clinical trial. Hello, my, my name is Saili Pokharkar. I am working as clinical research coordinator in Apollo Hospital Enterprise Limited, Mumbai. We together work for Apollo Research and Innovation in Clinical Research and Trial Fit. This year 2020 has brought the biggest revolution in, clinic, in importance of clinical trial field. The whole world is suffering from COVID-19 caused by a deadly virus SARS-CoV-2 which has taken many lives. The disease is declared as pandemic by World Health Organization. Majority of Clinical trials for COVID-19 vaccines or treatments are showing encouraging results. Therefore, keeping the spirit up, Apollo Research and Innovations team from Gandhinagar and Mumbai are celebrating International Clinical Trials Day virtually. Hello everyone, today our team is going to present a small virtual door scheme about the first clinical research experiment which is conducted by James Lee. James Lee was a Scottish physician doctor. He was the pioneer of novel hygiene in Royal Navy. He also developed the theory that citrus fruits cures the scurvy. James Link conducted the first randomized trials on 20 May 1747 on a ship. He divided 12 ship sailors into 6 pairs and provided them different citric supplementary. After the success of James Lind, he is considered as the father of the clinical trial. Hence, clinical trial day is celebrated around the globe every year on 20th May to recognize the day that James Lind began his famous trial. Now please welcome James Lind. Oh God, our sailors are dying in the sea. Their dead bodies are thrown into the sea. At the beginning of the sea journey, they are healthy and energetic. Their long term stay in the sea, they become sick. At last, they fall into the deep prey. What a terrible world. People are dying every day, everywhere. What a pity, doctor. Six months ago, <coughs> one of my best friend, John Honai, I have lost. John was a very friendly man. Every night, he sang beautiful song, looking at the sea. Last December, one of the born shivery night, John died on my heart. Next day, early morning, I threw his dead body into the sea. <laughs> How many days I can keep a dead body? John was very happy to return back his home to see his newly born child. What a pity, doctor. Family of the John still believed that John would come back to their home. Now, my turn has come. 
bleeding start the account i can't walk really doctor my legs are fractured doctor you are a very knowledgeable man do you have any medicine please doctor please do something Don't worry, don't worry. You will not die. Today I am going to do scientific experiment on you. Today I need six people like you. I am going to make six groups. Please sit down here. You are the first group. You can have orange regularly. You are the second group. You can have the lemon regularly. You are the third group. You can have cider regularly. You are the fourth group. You can have garlic mixture regularly. You are the fifth group. You can have sea water regularly. Last, you are the sixth group. You can have vinegar regularly. This experiment is for 14 days. I will be back after 14 days and check your health status. Keep in mind, I am coming after 14 days. I don't agree. Uh, it's orange. Is it tasty? Yes, yummy. Whoa! Mm. They are dying. Their medicine is not working. Time has come to check your health status. Start from the first group. You had orange. How do you feel now? Yes, doctor. Now I'm totally fit now. I can walk. I can do everything. Thank you, doctor. You saved my life. You are like a god to us, doctor. Thank you very much, doctor. Oh, great, great. Now, what's the second group? You had a lemon. Am I right? How's your health? Lemon and orange are cure for the scurvy disease. At last, I told to the whole world, experiment performed will not waste. It saves millions of lives. Goodbye. Thank you. My name is Bhumika Patel from Apollo Research and Innovation, Ahmedabad. Today, we are celebrating the clinical trial day, 20 May 2020. Today my topic is the Ethics Committee. What is the Ethics Committee? Ethics Committee is the body responsible for ensuring that medical experimentation and human subject research are carried out in, in an ethical manner in accordance with the national and international law. The Ethics Committee is the independent body made upon of a range of individuals including the medical or scientific professional and non-medical or non-scientific members. Ethics Committee may operate with an institution or it may be national, supranational and private. What is the Ethics Committee responsibility? To ensure the protection of the rights, safety and well-being of the research participation as well as ensuring the public of that protection. 
the first international guidance of ethics committee medical research including the subject numer code formulated in 1947 the present scenario ec regulatory reform led to more than 1000 ec to be registered with cbisco along with the actual impact on participation protection safety of that new regulation thank you hello everyone i am krupa gandhi working as a clinical research coordinator at apollo research and innovation ahmedabad at this pandemic situation we have facing so many challenges to be treated against corona virus at this time we have realized the importance of clinical trials when james lee conducted a clinical trial on scurvy disease at that time there is no rules and regulation to conduct clinical trials in ethical manner but at this time we have more rules and regulation to conduct clinical trials in ethical manners like icmr new drugs and clinical trial rules the most important role of a regulatory authority to protect patient safety rights and well being at this hour of crisis at this time there is a clear impact on patient safety scheduled visits patient recruitment ip etc for this to safeguard patient rights safety and well being icmr updated the guidelines on april 2020 thank you hello everyone i like to say thanks to each and every one of you who watching this video I hope we are able to provide you the basic little information about clinical trials and clinical research. This video was shooted by 14 people from our staff from different locations and sites. A special thanks to Angelina Betty who has reviewed this video and edited it out. I hope you like the video. Thank you and a happy International Clinical Trial Day.